So hundreds of thousands are descending on North Texas, landing right in the center of the path of totality for Monday's eclipse. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. So preparations are underway at the Perot Museum, where there have been planning going on for, gosh, a year now for this great North American eclipse. Actually, five years they've been planning. Fox 4, Sean Rabb has been talking with people who are visiting North Texas. I undersold it, Sean. I said only a year. They've been planning for five years. <laughs> Yeah, they've been planning for a long time. Let me tell you, we're here at Clyde Warren Park. Take a look, people are just laid back, having a great day. It's a great Friday out here at Clyde Warren, but across North Texas, there are folk in our community from everywhere, literally everywhere. And you know what? They're all expressing eclipse excitement. Dealey Plaza, normally a tourist destination. This weekend, a stop along the way to Eclipse Day. Now, are you prepared? To, you have chairs and hats and... We got, uh, we got the glasses, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we met the Clark clan from Jersey. Not yet sure where they will post up Monday. That's a game day decision. De depends on where the clouds are. I'm hearing the weather isn't going to be that great, so we'll, yeah, we got the car. We're going to be mobile. We'll figure something out. The Cokes from Canada, camping out with friends in Fort Worth for the celestial event, recall an eclipse as children. I remember there was an eclipse, but I don't remember the experience. But as an adult, it's nice to see. It would be really nice yeah. to experience. Especially since it's a total eclipse, that's even, that's even more yeah. important. I mean, that doesn't happen very often, right. so that's going to be very cool to see. That, of course, is what matters Monday to Simon Hupti from Poland. Well, we are uh, watching the weather forecasts uh, and on ongoing basis because uh, we can see that uh, those uh, forecasts on, uh, for Monday are changing very rapidly. Uh, yes. So we hope that uh, they will change in our favor. We booked tickets months ago for the eclipse, and we're going to go watch it in Whitney. And then this week I found out the Warriors are going to be in town, so I bought tickets to the Mavericks Warriors game. Yeah, and I'm just really excited. <laughs> Excellent. And it's also kind of for my birthday because oh, yeah. my birthday's on April 9th. So for the Sasaki and Vignola families, a triple header celebration. Happy birthday again, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Fair Parks, where Dominique Zacure, here for two weeks from England with her kids, will experience eclipse. Well, we've planned to maybe go to the Discovery Gardens, because I've had a look up, you know, on Google just to see. Um, so we're hoping to venture out there on Monday and see it for a few minutes. <laughs> Houston, Sandy Garcia, a different view of the cosmic shadow. Tell me, what are you going to be doing on Monday? Hoping the world doesn't end. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't think that is going to happen. We certainly hope we're able to see the solar eclipse. If you're not in the shade, you've got to get ready for it. you got to have a hat on, got to have long sleeves. If you don't wear long sleeves, you'll need some sunscreen. Of course, you'll need some snacks and some water as well, so you can stay hydrated. And most of all, you need your safe solar glasses. So, guys, I am ready for Monday.